In this video, we're going to use Moore's circle to transform a moment of inertia. So in this problem, we're given the moment of inertia about the x and y axis. So this x, y axis. And then the problem asks us to transform that moment of inertia so that we have the moment of inertia about the v, u axis. In this problem, we're going to go over how to find the moment of inertia about the u-axis. So we're given the moment of inertia about the i-x axis, 17.4. The moment of inertia about the i or about the y-axis is 6.27. And the moment of in, the product of inertia, that's this i-x-y. Here you can see section 9.3 in the book about that. So the product of inertia is negative 6.08. So we're going to start by drawing our Moore's circle. And Moore's circle is going to be very, very useful to you once you get into mechanics of materials. So the first step of our Moore's circle is to plot the points Ix and Ixy. So that's this green point here. And Iy and negative Ixy. So that's this point up here. So we're just going to plot those points um, on axes here. So on the x-axis, we have ix and iy. And on the y-axis, we have the product of inertia. So our x-axis is the moment of inertia. The y-axis is the product of inertia. Once we have those points plotted, we're going to draw the circle that goes through these points. That should be these two points and has a center somewhere along this ix, iy axis. So it's centered on the x-axis and goes through those two points. Once we've done that, we're going to kind of draw this line connecting our two points, and we're going to find the center and the radius of the circle. So the center of that circle will be the average of our two x values. So the center right here is going to be 17.4 plus 6.27 divided by 2. So that's our average value. That's going to be 11.835. Our radius can be found by looking at a triangle. We can look at really either triangle here this distance here is 6.08. This distance here is going to be 11.835 minus 6.27. So our radius of that circle, R, is going to be the square root of 6.08 squared plus 11.835 minus 6.27 squared. So we get our R is going to be 8.24. It's a radius of that circle. We could have just as easily used this triangle right here, and we would have gotten the same radius because it's on the same circle. So once we've found the center and the radius of our circle, we're going to rotate our line two times theta. So going back to the example, our x-axis has been rotated clockwise 45 degrees. So we've rotated x 45 degrees, and when we're in Moore's circle, we're always going to multiply our angles by 2. So here we're going to rotate from ix, and that's going to rotate 90 degrees. And on this point, this is going to be iv in... What was the other axis called? So, oh, sorry, that's going to be IU and IUV. So 
in here because the V axis has been rotated 90 degrees from our Y axis. This one is going to be IV and the Y coordinate is IUV. So now what we need to do is find what this point is, IU. So to do that, we're going to use the points that we already have. We're going to use the fact that this is 90 degrees here. We can also find our angle here. Let's call this one theta. So theta is going to be equal to the tan inverse of our opposite, which is this distance right here, 6.08, divided by our adjacent, this distance right here, which is going to be 17.4 minus the center of that circle, which is 11.835. If we calculate that out, we get theta is equal to 47.53 degrees. We can use 90 degrees and theta to find this angle here. Let's call that alpha. So alpha is going to be 180 minus theta minus 90. So that will be 42.46 degrees. Once we find alpha, we already know the distance of this line right here is r. So we can find this distance right here as being r cosine of alpha. Let's call that distance x. So x is going to be r cosine of alpha. That's just the distance of that line. Or let's, so that we don't confuse it with our other x, let's just call it d. So r was 8.24 cosine of 42.46. It's going to be 6.29. And then that means we're left looking for this distance here, which is going to be IU. So IU is going to be the distance to the center of our circle. So that's going to be 11.835 minus a distance D, 6.079. That's going to be 5.76. So that is the moment of inertia about our U axis using Moore's circle. And our units are inches to the fourth. We could use the same method to find this distance right here. which is going to be our IV, or our moment of inertia, with respect to the V axis.